begin with a shocking story of love gone deadly wrong. The latest twist in the murder trial of 32-year-old woman charged with shooting, stabbing, and slashing her one-time boyfriend. While she's admitted to police that she did indeed kill him, she's claiming it was self-defense. But today, explosive new tapes reminded the jury that that was not always her story. Here's ABC's Ryan Owens. If Travis were here today, he would tell you that if it wasn't me. Her web of lies. That is not my foot. Untangles before our very eyes. I'm all for the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not kill. Every excruciating second caught on tape and shown again today to riveted jurors who will decide if Jody Arias, who now admits killing ex-boyfriend Travis Alexander, should die for her crime. If I hurt Travis, if I killed Travis, I would beg for the death penalty. For the last three days, the prosecutor has played interrogation videos of Arias from July of 2008. She's just been arrested for the brutal murder of Alexander. I'm begging you to at least come clean and tell me why. I wish that I had answers. I'm sorry. He was found butchered in the shower of his Mesa, Arizona home just a month earlier. If I was going to ever try to kill somebody, I would use gloves. I've got plenty of them. The 30-year-old businessman and devout Mormon had been stabbed 27 times. His throat slit so deep he was almost decapitated, and he was shot in the head. This is over. This is absolutely over. You need to tell me the truth. Listen, the truth is I did not hurt Travis. On the tape, Arius repeatedly denies she was at Alexander's house the day of the crime. Even after the ever-patient detective confronts her with racy pictures of her in his bed that day. That looks like me. And even after he tells Arius her palm print was found at the bloody crime scene. How can that be my palm print? At one point, the detective leaves the room. Arius stretches in her chair. Then she stretches the truth even more. The admitted killer really turns on the tears. No, I'm just feeling all of the things that I'm going to potentially miss, miss out on with my family, and I think of all the things that Travis's family is going to miss out on with Travis. Alexander's sisters watched as their brother's admitted killer lied over and over. They have been in the front row of the courtroom every day of this trial. This week, the jury also saw a second interrogation from the next day. Arius is back with a new outfit, a jail jumpsuit, and a very new story. I actually didn't see it. I heard it. Now she admits she was at his house that day, but says two masked intruders broke in. She even acts out how she cowered in the corner as the duo slaughtered Alexander and threatened her family mafia style. I've seen The Sopranos. Arias again tells the detective if she were going to kill Alexander, she would definitely do it differently. I don't think I could stab him. I think I would have to shoot him continuously until he was dead. Only years later did Arias finally admit she was the killer. Her attorneys are trying to convince this jury she did it in self-defense after the couple fought. In just those two minutes, Jody had to make a choice. She would either live or she would die. But prosecutors allege Arius is a stalker who brutally attacked her ex in a jealous rage when she found out he was seeing other women. Arius's defense, which is expected to start next week, will have to overcome a mountain of forensic evidence, including pictures taken on this camera found in Alexander's washing machine. Prosecutors say Arias literally tried to wash that evidence away. But on its memory card, detectives discovered not just those racy photos from the couple's sexual encounter the day of the murder, but a series of 20 shots of Alexander posing in the shower minutes before his death. Prosecutors say Arias put down the camera and picked up a knife, stabbing her unsuspecting victim. The most damning picture comes after the camera was dropped. It's too graphic for us to show, but the jury saw a shot of what appears to be Arius actually moving the bloody body. Prosecutors say she was especially cold-blooded after the crime. Hey, what's going on? It's almost midnight. They played this voicemail Arius left on Alexander's phone a few hours after she killed him. Morbidly enough, she invited a man she knew was dead to come visit her. But let me know, and I will talk to you soon. 
Jody Arias has broken down in tears nearly every day of this trial, and in the weeks to come, most expect she will take the stand, that she almost has to to convince the jury she killed in self-defense. I did not hurt Travis. By then, the prosecutor hopes the jury will have heard so many of her lies, they won't believe a word out of her mouth and sentence her to death. Something she boldly predicted would never happen in an interview with the show, Inside Edition. No jury is going to convict me. Why not? Because I'm innocent, and you can mark my words on that one. No jury will convict me. I'm Ryan Owens for Nightline in Phoenix.